Hey guys, this is part three of the sneaker bot tutorial. First of all, I'm really sorry. I just started making these videos for fun and I completely forgot where I left off for, I don't know, for about like six months now. And just, I just uh, saw an email from a guy who wanted my help in preparing his bot to cop some sneakers. I decided to help him and then I realized that I never completed the tutorial series here. Um, so sorry for that. And now I'm gonna start with where we left off. So first of all, I would, like you guys to download this Chrome extension. It's called Relative Xpath Helper. You can Google that. Then you click on it and uh, you'll be able to just add it. And when it shows up, it's gonna look like this. So you might need to close Chrome and start it, uh, reload it so that the extension's available and you can use it on the websites. But that's about it. So we were here where we were able to select the size from our code. And now I'll just give, and show you what we have to do next. So first we have to click on add to bag and then these two options show up and then we have to click on go to checkout. Now, basically in this video, what I'm going to tell you is how to do this flow where we do add to bag and then click on checkout. So that's pretty much it about this video. And uh, this is pretty much the basics of web scraping in Python because this is how we like learn how to extract data from websites and then uh, we can you know use the data for like different things like data science machine learning and whatever but this is the data acquisition part from websites so how are we going to do this basically you know we left off here where i was calling url gen with size with these parameters i just hard coded these but um, then we go to this function and then this function it was just printing out the url but then i decided to return the url uh, what return does is it just like whatever it does here it gives us that thing and it comes here and I store it in a variable called my URL and then I just created this small function which is called add to cart and I'm passing that my URL into this function here so let's go to the code how we're doing that like in the previous video we reinitialize our driver which is webdriver.chrome here so this is initializing the chrome driver after that what we do we do driver.get my url which we also did here so what this does is this opens a new chrome tab where and you know then it basically automates the process and clicks on buttons and stuff so we'll see how to click on different buttons and stuff now but now what we do is how do i know i have to click this button how does how does this chrome web driver know that it has to click on this button so for that we've installed this chrome extension so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on it so this opens up and then we're using my two fingers i'm going to click on add to bag so as easy as that it shows me the xpath of the first element so basically what an xpath is that on the web page to find different elements it basically gives us like an address to where you live so similarly it tells us where the button is and that's how the chrome web driver knows where it has to find the button or what it has to click in a way so all i'm going to do is i'm going to select this i'm going to copy it command c or control c if you're using windows and what i do here is i do driver.find element by xpath so this is the X path. We are finding this X path. I pasted the X path here in double quotes. And after that, what I do is click. So what it, so what this does is it comes here, it finds this element and it clicks on it. Now, after this, as you can see, this is going, it takes some time to actually load. We, we, we could see like the round thing here and then the pop-up showed up. So for that, what if we click on it and then, you know, we can't do anything if the pop-up doesn't load so we have to tell the web driver to wait for about 10 seconds and then we say that okay you wait until this class this presence of this element this class name is located this this class name loads up so i just want to show you guys that this is the class name of this pop-up so i'm just going to close this and then i do the normal inspect and if we see here we can see that the class name is gl model main content so i say okay so i've clicked on the add to bag button but i need to wait for the class name which is gl model main content to load so this is pretty much what this is doing it's telling the web driver to wait for about 10 seconds and it's telling it to wait until the pop-up loads now once i have this pop-up open i'm just gonna click on my extension again and now you can move it up and down using this button this button is gonna move it up and what we can do is we basically need to find the xpath of this go to checkout button now so the same thing i'm just going to click it with two fingers right click with two fingers on a mac at least and then we can see that this gets selected and i have 
the expat of this i copy the expat in the same way and then i do the same thing driver.find element by expat i paste the expat here and then i do click once this runs this go to checkout button gets clicked and the next screen shows up so this is pretty much it about this video where we basically learned how to use chrome web driver to do a bunch of clicks how to find the addresses or the expats of the various elements on the web page and you know this is basic stuff which we really need to know and uh, we also learned how to use this chrome extension relative expat finder this extension really makes work very very easy for us in the next tutorial or part four which i intend to release shortly because i want to finish this video series so that you guys can develop your own bots in python um, what we can do is that we need to fill these details in and this is going to be really exciting where we learn how to automate to fill these details on our own here without even like entering it manually so once this is done you know we'll learn we'll click and we'll move forward from here but um one more thing i wanted to tell you guys is that you know if you guys ever get stuck on something suppose you have some error there is this website called stackoverflow.com so this is not the first time someone's getting an error right so what you can do is you can search up whatever error you're getting so suppose i get an error of something like you know out of bounds exception so i'm going to search it up here and then basically i get a solution here which says that oh why i'm getting it so here you can search it on this website you can google it and then try to you know solve it yourself guys you should know that we are learning development here so we really need to you know figure things out on our own sometimes since i won't be available all the time you can of course leave a comment and i've even given a link to my github repo where you can look at the code but you know i would really like you guys to use your brain and try to figure this stuff out this website is a great resource so once you're here just search your problem and you know if you see a, a green tick here you can this is basically the accepted solution where you'll know that okay this is the way the guy who asked the question fixed it and then you know they'll usually have some comments uh, with other stuff people last so you know this is a great resource you guys should try it if you get stuck well this is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys stay tuned once again sorry for such a long gap but i really hope i'm really helping you guys and you know um if you guys are getting help just um leave it leave it down in the comments or just share it with your friends like it i think that that does it for me thank you so much